All right, guys, so hashtag boycott woman king is trending on social media because this is a red pill moment for some of the woke revolutionaries who don't really have a real understanding of history, okay, that are always going after the white man for his role in the transatlantic slave trade, but never has nothing to say about the Africans who were very, very, very important, a vital part to the success of the Europeans with the transatlantic slave trade as they were the ones they were rounding up the African slaves in the first place. And some people are just realizing this as this movie, The Woman King, is bringing attention to this historical fact that is not taught in schools, right? Which is something that 100% should be taught in school. But it's inconvenient because it doesn't fit the woke narrative. However, what is going on here, guys, is some very, very fascinating stuff. Right, as you do have backlash from the black community against the woman king because they learn that the tribe, the kingdom that they're talking about in this movie is a empire called the Dahomey Empire that were especially guilty in participating in the transatlantic slave trade, okay? Their whole empire was built off slavery. They fought tooth and nail to protect slavery, including the women that are being talked about in this movie, that are being glorified in this movie, the Amazon warriors, the black women, um, they also were a vital part of trying to protect the slave trade for this African kingdom. But with the premiere of this movie actually coming out, so people can now go and see it, right? And more information about the actual plot of this movie, it has become clear that this movie in the mainstream liberal media is lying about the premise of this movie as they're claiming that this movie is based off historical Fact. However, the problem is that they're not really telling the story about these women as women who were complicit in trying to protect slavery. They're actually saying, no, no, no. These women were heroes. They were strong black women that were actually fighting against slavery, which there's no evidence whatsoever that that ever happened. However, they're trying to say that this is a real story. And I think the reason why the woman king is important is it because it's historical and it's real. Yeah, 100% historical and real. Strong black women fighting to end slavery in the African kingdom that made a whole empire based off slavery. Yeah, 100% real guys, 100% historical facts, okay? And The View uh, had these actresses on their show to interview them about this movie. And The View, of course, did not ask them about the discrepancy between real history and what is being portrayed in the movie. No, no, no. They celebrated this as a moment of black girl magic. The predominantly female uh, cast and dark skin black woman yes. led. Yes. And I have to, I have to, I have to say that because there are no, you know, sort of white saviors, um, and also. As much as it is an action movie, it is also a very human story. Yes. These w women get to be humanized. Yeah. You, I'm sure, were moved by a lot of the scenes. Um, you were the first black woman to become a 007 in No Time to Die. Okay. 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 Yes. Mm -hmm. Your dancing was very good in the film, also. Uh, um, but you said you enjoyed not needing to have a conversation about rocking your natural hair this time. Mm -hmm. You enjoyed that. Yeah, so that's the gist of the conversation and the questions that the mainstream liberal media is asking these women about starring in a film that is about an empire that participated in the slave trade, that literally thrived off of slavery. Okay, that enslaved black people, put them on plantations and killed the slaves that they found to be useless. Okay, mass executed them and played a role of women fighting on behalf of that very system. Okay, oh no, we're, we're going to talk about black girl magic. <laughs> we're going to talk about how, you know, nobody has to ask questions about whether or not you're wearing your natural hair. Again, th these people, it, it, it blows my mind because when, you know, white people make movies like this where they glorify you know, the slave trade or whatever, okay? And the white man's role in, you know, the atrocities of history, um, they wouldn't be having interviews like this, right? They wouldn't be out here glorifying actors and pretending like this is some type of thing to be celebrated. But again, when it comes to this movie right here, if you uh, refuse to watch it, if you refuse to support the glorification of slave traders, 
well, you're against black women, right? You don't want to see a strong black woman lead, right? Again, absolutely amazing how this works. But again, even some of the woke revolutionaries aren't falling for this. So let's read this. Who's driving the hashtag boycott woman gang trend on social media in protest of the Viola Davis starring historical epic that hit theaters today? Perhaps surprisingly, it's not the same people who drop racist memes in reaction to the first look at Halle Bailey and Disney's live action The Little Mermaid trailer. Critics don't have an issue with Davis playing strong black leader in The Woman King, but are alarmed that the history of the Dahomey tribe who sold other Africans into slavery has been whitewashed. Again, that's an interesting uh, perspective, okay? Obviously, you can tell this article is written from the perspective of a woke revolutionary trying to reconcile the mental gymnastics that he or she has to go through when it comes to trying to figure out why black people are against a movie right? That's supposed to be about black girl magic, right? That's supposed to be about empowering black women, right? So they go on to say, well, it's because the movie has been whitewashed and that's just not true. It hasn't been whitewashed, right? It's not a whitewashed version of the film. It's actually woke washed, okay? Because a whitewashed version of this film would essentially make the Europeans look like good guys. And that would be historically accurate. So the irony here is that the so-called whitewash version, right, of this film would be the historically accurate version. The wokewash version, which is what it is now, is not historically accurate. Even though they're, they're claiming that it is, it's not, right? Um, quote, time to boycott the Woman King movie. The film is about the Dahomey and Benin that traded slaves into the transatlantic this may be the most offensive film to black Americans in 40 to 50 years, wrote Los Angeles attorney and producer Antonio Moore. So here's the thing. Here's how I feel about that. I don't think that people should be mad that there's a film being made that is telling the truth about uh, black people or African people and their role in slavery. I think what people should be mad about is the fact that this film is telling the story of that from a perspective where they're trying to cover that up. They're trying to cover up that fact and they're trying to make it woke. They're trying to make it about women's empowerment and black girl magic. While at the same time, again, trying to glorify these people, glorify these women who historically participated in the transatlantic slave trade. Okay. Again, the, the problem here is that they're presenting this as something that is factual when it's not. This is not a true story. This is not based on true events. There were no women warriors in Africa in Dahomey that were fighting against slavery, right? They completely 100% made that up, but they're trying to peddle this as if this is fact, right? This is the power of black women. We're fighting against men, right? Men that tried to keep uh, slavery uh, a thing, okay? And the evil white man on top of that, who's trying to abolish slavery, we're trying to fight against him too, okay? that That's what this is. And I think it's worth getting more upset about that in the way they did this film then let's say somebody making a film about the Africans and their role in the slave trade, but wasn't glorifying it, was just telling the truth and facts and not trying to make it about wokeness, okay? So with that being said, let's read some of the reactions here on Twitter. Let's be honest, folk. It's a movie about an African tribe famous for selling slaves to Europeans that was made into a female empowerment story by two white women writers. You don't have to be very woke to see the problem here. Again, I don't think that the problem here is that the, the writers are white. I don't think that's the problem. Okay, that's not necessarily the problem. The color of their skin is not necessarily the issue here. Uh, Jason Whitlock says, The Boycott Woman King hashtag makes me think Thursday's premiere bombed at the box office and with audience response, movie is trash, continuation of the demonization and emasculation of the black man. Facts. Uh, Tariq Nasheed says, the rulers of the homie perform magic rituals against the other black people they enslaved by making them walk around, quote, the tree of forgetfulness. This was supposed to erase their ancestral memories so their spirits would not return back to the homie to seek revenge. <laughs> Twitter is undefeated. I had no idea these women were actually deep in the slave trade out past. See, this is what happens when you actually get educated on stuff, right? On one hand, this actress says the woman king is historical it's real but when promoting this movie they never discussed the real history that the dahomey were african slave traders this movie does not sit right with my soul and then you also always have the one woke revolutionary that's going you know what hashtag support black women no matter what 
right? As this person says, I'm not trusting any hashtag that tries to get a black woman led movie to fail. I'll see it for myself. And if it's bad and spends history in a negative way, so be it. But Viola and John are going to get my movie dollars. Suck on that bots and ops. Yeah. So basically, if you don't go see the movie, uh, it's sexist, right? You're sexist. You don't want to see black women succeed. And regardless of all the signs out there that this movie is trying to portray itself as a real story that's obviously not real about an empire that can be compared to the Confederacy in regards to their treatment of black people, uh, you got to go see it because Viola Davis said go see it. And if you don't go see it, then you're not supporting black women. Absolutely incredible stuff. Absolutely incredible stuff. Um, yeah, so some of the user reviews have come in because people can now actually watch the movie. And uh, unsurprisingly, uh, a lot of these reviews aren't great. So let's read a couple and then look at the overall IMDb reviews because we know that there's going to be a whole lot more backlash from the woke liberal media saying that the uh, backlash against this is, is sexist. It's, it's hard for them to say racist, okay, because it's black people backlashing against it. So now they're going to go with the whole sexism thing. So let's read this. Great acting in a money grubbing lie. Damn, it's hard to diss a movie that so much work went into uh, and where so many great performances were offered. But the disgusting way the writers have turned villains into heroes and sold a fake history lesson to the public can't be overlooked. This history, this country was a despicable slave owning, slave trading, totalitarian regime and its Amazon army composed of girls who themselves enslaved as children were how the country captured its slaves. Viola Davis is great as the fictional character she plays and the whole thing looks spectacular, but none of this matters a damn because it's a cash grabbing lie. And let's read one positive review here because nobody should be surprised by what people are saying here. Uh, one thing people fail to realize is that this movie was inspired by the strength of the Dahomey women warriors. Yeah, those women that got their asses whooped <laughs> by the French, okay, and any males they actually fought against. Uh, the writers used that as inspiration to create an amazing group of strong black women. It was not about the tribe and its history. So, again, it's not a true story, <laughs> right? It's not a true story. Everyone in the film had their chance to shine. Although Viola is the lead actress in the film, she did not soak up all the camera time. The cinematography, acting, casting, writing, direction, and production was absolutely phenomenal. It's hands down Viola Davis's best film. This is a classic film that everyone will enjoy watching over and over again. Award season belongs to the woman gang. Oh, I'm sure it's going to get a lot of awards. Even though um, the user reviews here already suggest they know a lot of people ain't liking it, as it has 45.6% one stars, okay? So, <laughs> it is getting review bombed here, okay, already. Now, again, are all those people the ones that actually watched it? Who knows? But, with that being said, I'll be interested to see what the actual box office numbers look like since people are now boycotting the movie. Are people going to actually go and see it? Now, to be quite honest with you, I actually do want to see the movie. And I might go see the movie, not because I'm trying to support it, but because I actually want to see for myself what is the historical accuracy of this movie and how woke is it. But with that being said, <laughs> again, I just think the backlash against this movie is absolutely hilarious. This is not what they were expecting, okay? For black people to backlash against a movie about women's empowerment because, you know, the woke revolutionaries have told us that slavery is the most evil thing ever. OK, and that it is an unforgivable sin. This is why we're still, you know, trying to punish white people for their role in slavery. And they thought that these people who have been brainwashed about slavery, uh, you thought they were going to come out here and support a movie about African slave trading, right? A tribe that participated in African slave trading. Yeah, I, I, I don't think so. Right. I'm actually kind of happy to see the woke revolutionary backlash for once, because at least it shows in a rare instance that they can be consistent when it comes to their backlash. So. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.